celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month at the Gateway by honoring the life and work of famed Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Jessica and Andrea are joining me now to talk about this weekend's festivities. This sounds so incredible. I'm so happy you two are here to share. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Okay, so let's start with the Latina Social Club that the two of you founded during the pandemic, what it is, kind of the start there, and how you've expanded into festivals like this. Yeah, so she's she's the leader on that. <laughs> no, well, um, the pandemic was an opportunity for us to um, like think, you know, everyone was like um, taking the time and, uh, uh, and working with these beautiful girls, like influencers, Latinx influencers here in Salt Lake City. Uh, we found that there was not a place to get the community together and have leaders like th them um, to just support and bring everyone uh, in these like spaces to celebrate our culture. So we were. We started with six of us, and we have been expanded, like, to a, a thousands. Um, to thousands. Yeah. I'm yeah. so happy that you did take the time during the pandemic to say there's a need for this. I will create that and gather these yeah. women and these people together. So you've been involved from the start. Right, yep. And now we're talking about this weekend's event, and this is the second one that you've done. Yeah, so Latina Social Club puts on a lot of fiestas or parties, events, to just bring... Hispanic and Latin culture to the masses here in Utah, and um, it just needs a lot more exposure. So the Frida Fiesta um, is a vehicle for that. Uh, this is our second year putting it on, and while we're celebrating the famed artist Frida Kahlo, we're also going to be celebrating other Hispanic and Latin cultures as well. Put this on your calendar. This sounds so incredible. And talk a little bit about what last year was like and the new additions, because you've really thought this all out and made it even more incredible. Yeah, so last year was fantastic. Um, Latina Social Club has really cultivated a great relationship with the Gateway. We've put on multiple events there. Uh, and last year's event, for the first inaugural event, it was, it was wild. Uh, there was over 800 participants. We had food trucks. We had a really fabulous VIP experience with a beautifully curated, decorated table um, for people to come sit and eat and enjoy, watch performances. This year, we're going to scrap the VIP experience and we're actually going to do a marketplace because we want to give more of the um, Hispanic and Latin small vendors some exposure to the community uh, to showcase their products that they offer. And that's what you are getting a glimpse of right <laughs> here on this setup. Everything is so beautiful. Andrea, talk us through and talk a little bit about your shop that you have at the Gateway where we can purchase some of these items. Okay, we we have a collective store led by 12 different um, business uh, women owned. Uh, and it's just a place, uh, yes, to for them to show and be able to be like in contact with the um, community here in Utah. So here is a little like highlight of uh, what we offer and what we're gonna have during the festival because this year we are opening uh, this space also for small businesses to be able to like showcase their their beautiful products are like all handmade and it's yeah. amazing, all handmade, and you can really see when we zoom in the quality and the creativity. This Frida doll is so beautiful, <laughs> all the different kinds. She's just so exquisite, and the details. Yeah. She's so I cute. love her, and I love this pink hat, and that's something that you have at your shop, too. Yes, this is, is uh, made in Mexico, and then you can take out the beads and use it as a necklace as well. <gasps> so it's very, like, Okay. Multi-purpose. Multi I'll see you at the <laughs> fiesta. Yeah. No, this yeah. happens on Friday, let's see, September 30th, from 4 until 9, Saturday, September 30th, 4 to 9 at the Gateway. And you can follow along on the Gateway's website. We will link to Latina Social Club on Instagram. But we also want to say there is a costume contest happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a look-alike contest because, like, uh, well, Frida is, like, um, 
a muse for us, right? Mm -hmm. For a, a lot of us. And we love to just dress up very colorful, very like with crowns and stuff because it's fun. It's so just dress fun. The so part. Come, yes, come in yeah. your best braids and your best uni best unibrow. <laughs> I love it. I'll do it. Thank you both so much for being here. It Thank sounds you. Thank you for, so wonderful. for having us.